Good morning. I read a report about 2020, about mortality. You know, 2020 was uh, very special, wasn't it? For me personally, it was very educational. You know, I was struggling with this crap in January and February. I didn't know what to think. I remember this so clearly. I woke up one morning after a good night's sleep. This was in February 2020. I woke up and I was convinced the whole thing was a hoax and I started talking about it. Yeah, I saw this report about 2020 and the report says it wasn't special, mortality-wise, except for two places. Quite interesting. And it's northern Italy and New York. Apparently a lot of people died in these areas. And I'm wondering about this, of course. Why these two area, areas? Why not like uh, Pakistan you know, and Sweden, let's say. That was northern Italy and New York. Very central places. Northern Italy is like very important to Europe. And of course, then New York. So, that's my question. What did they do in these areas? Why did so many people die in these areas? Right. Right, I saw, saw this. Uh, the Russian government is starting to, starting the process, this is what they say, the process of withdrawing from the WHO. Uh, there's a statement from the Russian deputy speaker, Pyotr Tolstoy. He said this. So they are planning to get out of WHO. Don't you think that the Russians are more awake? Right? I'm talking about the government, the politicians. Seems to me that this is the case. I hope they do. I hope they do get out. Right. It's a criminal institution, WHO, to say the least. Right, some media madness. Uh, there, there's no mystery why people are moving over to alternative media. I just saw these examples this morning. There was a headline. Well, I saw it a couple of days ago was a headline in the Swedish newspaper, uh, Gothenburg paper, big paper. And I could just read the headline because you had to pay in order to read the article. So I didn't want to pay. So I just read the headline, right? I want to read it to you. Avalanche increase in cancer, explained by new sex habits. <laughs> mainstream media. And then I just happened to see this old one, an article from 1995, 28 years ago, uh, in the New York Times. So this was the article. Well, the text was this. Uh, Most East Coast beaches would be gone by the year 2020. Talking about the United States, of course. They are already disappearing at an average of two to three feet per year. <laughs> right. Uh, finally, this uh, new music is coming up. I make music. I enjoy it so much. And I'm very surprised that some people actually like it. Uh, so, new music is coming up on my music channel, Bernard Walter Music, link below, tomorrow. This is a, an important piece to me. Uh, it's a requiem for my brother, Robert, who passed away in June 2021. No, I did a speech, I tried to make a speech at the funeral for my brother Robert and I got halfway through it I couldn't continue 
So now I made some music and I'm talking about him. My brother, my big brother. Alright. Be good.